Hi, welcome back to Professor Spectrum. Today we're going to talk about how to prepare your XRF to fly on an aircraft. So the first thing to be aware of is the restrictions around traveling with a lithium ion battery. As of 2022, any lithium ion battery under 100 watts has to travel as carry-on, so it cannot go in your portable XRF case. If you're unsure on how to calculate the watts for a lithium ion battery, you do so by multiplying the volts by the ampere hours. For a typical XRF lithium ion battery, such as this one, the voltage is 7.2 and the ampere hours is 5.8. So multiplied together, that gives us a watt total of 41.76, well below the 100 watt limit. So it needs to go into your carry-on. And if you're not sure, usually they say somewhere on the battery. If it's a Brooker, also the Olympus ones um, say, it's typically on the back here, it'll say below 100 watts. So now that we know that this needs to go into your carry-on, the airlines also typically ask that these exposed terminals are taped over. You can generally use any type of tape, just as long as they tape over the metal bit. So to get that ready, you just grab your tape, grab a little bit, cut it off, grab your battery. So the exposed terminals are here. You just wanna tape them over, like so. So then you pack that with the tape into your carry-on. Additionally, if you decide to send the XRF ahead of you, so not on the plane with you, but with a courier and ship it across to wherever your destination is, you need to also tape down the terminals, pack it in the case, and make sure that it has less than 30% charge. But also check with your courier before you send it. If you are sending it via shipping or courier, and you are putting your batteries into the case, ensure that it is not in the XRF itself, but in its designated spot. That's been Professor Spectrum. We'll see you next time.